Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Now, this is just a bit of an update on uh, the Lophophora cacti that I have here in my polytunnel. That um, I actually made a video probably a couple of months ago now when I noticed uh, spider mite damage appearing on quite a few of my Lophophoras here in the polytunnel. And those of you who know uh, Lophophora and those of you who know spider mites, they've they are really spider mite magnets Lophophoras and uh, obviously I treat all of my plants during the spring and summer with horticultural neem oil mixed with horticultural soap and it has, it's absolutely brilliant at keeping spider mites and mealybugs, thrips and all the other common pests away. But because we're in winter I actually keep all of the plants in the polytunnel except for some of the succulents and some of the um, epiphytes completely dry over the winter months because obviously I'm here in Ireland in Northern Ireland and um, it's cold and damp so they can't be watered so uh, with that I also cut back on the uh, using the neem oil because when I spray it on them obviously it's unavoidable not to get onto the soil and because I stopped using it, I noticed uh, spider mite had appeared again. And I think it's also due down to the fact that we have to have a fantastic dehumidifier installed here in the polyton. It keeps the humidity between 40 and 50 percent. It's been the best thing ever because we've gone from 85 percent humidity in the winter to about 45 percent to 50 percent humidity. It's amazing. But with the dry air comes the pests and obviously it just proves because I stopped using the neem the spider mite has come back and look at that and I've been using the neem all for the past few weeks now what I've been doing is just giving them a spray and trying to keep as much of the soil dry but I've got top dressing on them anyway and the dehumidifier in here sucks out any excess moisture so they dry pretty quick so no damage there and I'm happy to say there is not a single sign of any spider mite now obviously the damage is still there that won't start to to grow out and recover until the spring when the plants come back into growth again but I've looked through a strong magnifying glass and I can't see any of the little horrors crawling around and um, as I mentioned I have made many videos on how to use neem oil to um, prevent and treat um, pests on your plants as well as it's an excellent fungicide as well so if you want to see a video on how to use neem oil and how to mix it up and prepare it and everything for Lophophora cacti and other types of cacti do check that video out links will be up above and down below in the video description I explain a lot more all about neem oil in that video um, and I've also made a care video on how to care for Lophophora as well so do check that out I'll put all the links down below also and I've also made a video um, on what spider mite damage looks like on Lophophora cacti. I often get um, comments saying uh, their Lophophoras have gone very yellow and corky looking. And when I, when I actually see pictures of them, I can clearly tell this is an example of spider mite damage there. And that's a very, a very more, more the recent one I've had to deal with and as well on there. And the, as I mentioned in that uh, spider mite video, if you haven't seen that, also check that video out so you know if you're having this strange thing on your Lophophora or other cacti, you know what to look for. Um, links will be up above and down below in the video description as well. And uh, the good news is it, it's rarely a killer unless you really don't know it goes unnoticed for a very long time but as you can see sadly with spider mite the damage is usually seen before you ever see these incredibly miniature tiny little pests but as I say they've all gone and I, I'm still keeping up the regime here with them um, every week I'm spraying these all these lofts here with the neem oil and I'm just going to show you how I do it as well I mean I explained that in the how to use the neem oil video um, give it a good shake. I mix it with a horticultural oil. I've got all the measurements and everything in that video on how I use it. This is just more of a bit of a video blog and update on them. And I'll just show this one here. I just lightly spray, spray them all, thoroughly spray it. And I also want to mention that when you do use uh, neem oil, it's always best to use it away from direct sunshine and away from grow lights. So I'm doing this very early in the morning. I'm absolutely freezing. We do have the dehumidifier and a heater in here, but it's still about seven Celsius. So it's chilly enough. But I just want to show you that it's been a success. And um, although I'm, I'm wetting all these now, I'm not wet, I'm not soaking the soil. I'm just wetting the top of them, and the top of the so of the soil, the top dressing will be damp. But that will dry pretty quick with a dehumidifier. And as I say, I mentioned in the uh, neem oil video, is that the reason why you don't spray in, in direct sun is because it can sometimes cause scorching and burn marks. I've never personally experienced that, but I've never sprayed in direct sun 
either and that's the same with grow lights so just make sure that you spray them when grow lights are off or early if you've got them out outdoors in greenhouses or polytunnels like this first thing in the morning um, or last thing of an evening after the sun has gone down so guys that's a bit of an update and as I say happy to say them little critters have all gone and hopefully in the spring this damage will grow out as I say you're never going to get rid of the corkiness but the new growth will come up I'll just show you that's an example of one that had past spider mite damage in the past and this is all the new growth coming up here so they do they can recover and over time the uh, scabbiness will work its way towards the base of the, the plant as the lophophora grows bigger with a fresh growth so guys thank you so much for watching and for lots more tips and tricks on how to care for and grow cacti and suckers, then please do subscribe to my channel. And also do check out my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of cactus power from across the Emerald Isle. And until my next video, bye. Bye. Thank you for saving me from them little horrors.